I V M. Tada! Hi, Dash. Hi, Ayushai. And welcome back to another episode of Agla Station. Adulthood, Abka Pasandi, the favorite podcast. Um, and we are here today, Aishi and I are in the studio, very happily, second day in a row, you know, actually, so what we're trying to do is get many episodes in, because Aishi will be traveling a little through March, so we thought we will record. And we have a bank of episodes ready for you guys, so there's no tension, there's never been such a thing that you like, air pe jaane ke liye episodes na ho, you know? That would never happen. Never. It can't. It can't. Um, and in the odd case that it does happen, please forgive us. <laughs> So, assuming you listened to our whack episode last week <laughs> <laughs> and enjoyed it like anything. Honestly, I had a lot of fun with that episode, but I my eyes have been opened to a new side of you, Ritasha. I'm crazy. That's so, so clear from last week's episode. I'm crazy. <laughs> Remember there was a movie? What movie was that from? Ra- that Rajkumar Yadav guy. No. Who's that guy? Who, I think it's from that one of those Hangama Halchal type right, right, right. films. I'm crazy. I'm crazy. Because at that time, whenever they tried to portray like a crazy person, they'd be like, this is the village pagal person. Like mm-hmm. every village just had a crazy person. Yeah. Why? Because he was slightly enthusiastic about something. He's a crazy. He's a crazy. Anyway, this week's episode is Life Kills. Brackets Skills Actually it's really funny We said um, We told them that it was life skills So they could put it in the title And then Rishikesh Our Very yeah. sweet Unassuming producer By accident Or Not by accident We don't know He was like mm, I'm gonna write life kills <laughs> So we walked into the studio The topic was Life kills But we're okay with it Because sometimes it does It does It does You know Life's actual job is to kill If we were to look at that like That's, that's deep You're dying every day I you mean, mean you're dying a little bit every day? A little bit every day. It's like that Tumblr post where it's like, what if it's actually oxygen that's killing us? It's just oh, slow no, yeah. death. <laughs> <laughs> You've blown open a whole new topic for my brain to think about now. It's true. Anyway. Tell us. This week's episode, because it's on life skills, we're going to talk about certain life skills that we think as baby adults you should probably have. But we have a list that we found online and we're going to go through it and see whether we have these skills, these skills or not. So should I just power through the list now? Yeah, let's start. Basic housekeeping skills plus how to clean. That's number one. You Making your I bed to laundry basics. Ayushi, I know you're excellent at these skills. This skill I can do a tick because can do laundry, can clean Same. house, uh, know how to scrub toilet Same. effectively and Same. shower and love making beds. And love ironing also. Honestly, I love ironing. It, oh, the tingle thinking of it. <laughs> And you know Aishi But we What is so basic for this For us is like I think both of us Have had these tiger moms Who have been very very particular About this to, Since childhood To make sure that we know it Because exactly. she was always like You need to be a functional Absolutely. adult Absolutely same So that's why it was put into your head And also like when you have A very disciplinarian Like my dad was very like that In terms of like Your clothes have to be ironed Your bed has to be made Yes You have to put your clothes away yourself And no matter uh-huh. how much Whether you had help or staff In the house I've never had the luxury of someone like packing my bag Agreed. or putting away yeah. my clothes or um, doing those things because those are very like basic no, life skills. This is your stuff. Yeah. You have to learn how to do it. And I'm so grateful that our parents understood this and like, well, not forced, but like made sure we learned them and we were in a situation where we could. Because I remember when I moved to college. Oh my God. Yeah. My college roommate didn't know how to put on bed sheet, bed cover. I was like, excuse me. <laughs> it's crazy. People didn't know how to... Um, Properly iron a, a dress shirt, uh, like you know, ironing hacks. How to okay, this is the thing. This is mine, is a, mine just goes into a lot of ironing. I think problems. you could do a whole episode about how to iron. Should I should you? do a video, like an IGTV. My first IGTV video is going to be me ironing. Aishi's debut. This is some kind of mad ASMR. Then imagine you're just ironing the creases away, and people are like, wow. We'll put some sick sound effects. Also. Oh my god! This is this is this is how I become famous. That's it. Okay, the, we have a patented this idea. Okay, next life skill: how to cook. Dot dot dot. Something. <laughs> yeah, can do. Aisha, I know you're a very good cook. You want to tell us a little bit of your repertoire of what all you can make, what all you do make. Um. So when I was living in LA, I was living with um my family there and my aunt, who was at the time, um. Well, she had cancer. Yeah. And so she wasn't very 
there were days she had good days and bad days and obviously there was a lot of people in the house like my cousins and other aunt uncle everyone but like as you know in america it's not like yeah. you have someone to come everyone and cook for you everyone work. does their own yeah. thing so on days that it was my turn to kind of you know uh pull my own weight i had to learn how to cook absolutely and you still had to make indian food a you had to make something nutritious and you couldn't just do a slap dash effort because at the end of the day everyone used to come home and sit down and have a full meal and also i want to just tell our listeners this is a family of a lot of doctors right oh yeah 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 <laughs> so everyone is kind of has had a very full day yeah. plus is very adamant about having good food exactly. and not like it's not an ordering kind of family yeah. so i was forced to learn how to cook there and i used to skype my mom and call her a lot and be like well now what is it supposed to look like this is it supposed <laughs> to look like that and um, she really helped me through it and i learned how to cook and then when my aunt used to be at home she would shout from the couch being like this doesn't smell right you need to cut it smaller but that kind of um and the minute you had any positive feedback it made you feel like oh this is awesome maybe yeah. i can make this maybe i can make that and as someone who genuinely loves to eat mm. i think automatically when you when you enjoy food and you love eating you're way more passionate about learning how to cook because mm. it's just i mean It's interesting to know where your food comes from and then now that I work in the commodities industry I'm doubly intrigued by just kind of you know the whole uh, the journey of everything to your yeah. plate yeah and for me farm to table means a very different thing of course yeah so I have always enjoyed the process so I won't say that this is something that everyone has to get as involved as I am I'm very hands on with the food. like I enjoy it a lot mm. so but I think you should be able to feed yourself yeah as a young adult agreed I don't know where that goes maybe that either can pique your interest or turn you off it entirely but you should learn how to feed you should know how to feed yourself I'm going to university so many of my friends like for the first year Zach Zach listens shame on you he lived on like oven baked fish fingers and chicken tenders and Matlab fries college ke bachche kuch bhi khate hain literally anything like kuch baked bhi. beans mm 6 days Cup a week noodles for dinner okay <laughs> <laughs> I mean there are days when you when you don't have the energy and time so you'll have something slap dash but you this is the time that you should be filling your body with good stuff so it you kind of you can use your brain also then Yeah so learn how to cook some basics I think ठीक है so you can make this uh, dal sabzi Yeah roti. but you know what I'll admit rice is tough for me Oh my god I've just cracked rice like literally 2 days ago My like the rice is always like um a little I feel just a tad too soft i feel like i want to stop it a little bit before but then i get scared that it's going to be raw so the trick i think is to turn off the heat and uh, let it just, keep it shut and uh, let it steam like then the last 10 minutes just you keep it and then when you're ready to eat it only then open it and it will be it'll be like wow what a steam rice i will admit however that right now i don't make rice because that's if i'm doing other stuff i yeah. do have help at home to make the basic of like say a rice and roti, roti the only yeah. thing i would be more involved with would be the flavor part of it of so not the basics great cool um, my cooking skills don't extend to that many but i have to say i can cook if i'm in the mood to so for me it's a very yeah. mood based thing now but you can feed yourself good tasty food yeah theek hai not that tasty also but theek hai i can manage like nutrition can go in yeah and that's enough for me i guess Now the third one is a bit. Uh, it's basic sewing, which I want to say sewing, but in India we can say sewing because you know we are right. The spelling is S E W, and if it's sewage, it should be sewing. Darling, <laughs> it's sewing. I like to sew. <laughs> so I like to sew it, sew it. I like to sew, sew. it. So um, anyway, can you sew basically? Cross stitch sabne kiya. Actually, it's really mein. funny. Right now, my mom is. Um, she really enjoys embroidery. Yes. And she she is very good with it, and she does a lot of her. Like sometimes she'll buy something. She's like, oh, this would be nice if I just did a little bit more to it, and then she picks up this project. So she's em, em sewing embroidery. Yeah. Um, a dress that she has right now. Wow. She's doing the sleeves and the whole like the yoke. Wow. Part. And um, she taught me how to do one of them, and it. So I was like, oh, let me do it. Let me do it because she sits with that wheel. You know that frame that yes, you tighten yes, it in, and then yes. so it actually feels like I felt like you know Pride and Prejudice oh or Little God. Women. Like I sat with my back very straight, and I was like, mm. "You are a little woman sun. sewing, <laughs> Ayushi! <laughs> wow!" And my mom comes to me. She's saying, "It's been thirty minutes. You've done two, and I was like, "Aren't they beautiful?" She's saying, "Well, one is crooked, huh? <laughs> so I can't." A for effort, you know. And then yesterday, my button fell off my pants. I didn't show you. I took a pic. Yesterday, I was sitting. 
safety pin was holding off my pants. I have a pair of pants which that happened to like five years ago. I've never put the button on, and I only have a safety pin. And recently, I lost that pin also. <laughs> and that day, I was wearing those pants just yolo, you know, without a button, just the zip up. And I was really taking a chance. I feel <laughs> so yesterday when before I met you, it popped off after lunch, which was already doubly. What Kalia lunch? Me, I see. It just. It literally just, you know, like in a comic, where it goes like, Bring! that's what happened in the it toilet. Is. And I couldn't fix it. So I asked um, in the office for a, a safety pin, but we didn't have any. So I had to walk to the Kirana store down to get it. But now they're those loose linen pants. So if they don't have a button, mm, they don't stay they up. Don't they stay. just slide yeah, down. Yeah. So I put a paper clip <laughs> when I walked down Ooh, yeah, to the Kirana that's store. A hack. No, that's not a hack. I don't know whether it was a hack. I I was just I didn't have a choice, and then I got one safety pin, and then I went and like tucked it back in. It was like one of those baby nappy pins. Sweet. I have a, there's a picture those are on my good. Phone. Those are good, huh? Those baby nappy pins are great, and they're safe also. There's no way they'll open up and poke you from inside. Yeah, but I basically now have to figure out how to sew this button back on. But see, sewing it's not all at all. Sub quite. I think I know how to stitch this much. Like I haven't done it. I think in but theory I know. I know. Yeah. Like it can't be that hard. I've seen my mom do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Same, same, same. She's awesome. My mom also like sometimes if a sari blouse is tight or loose, so she'd be like, "Are you not seeing like holy nakho? What's there?" <laughs> Chalo. Next one is home repairs one o one. Chie, मुझे नहीं आता. Change a bulb. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can change a bulb. Um, can you unclog a sink? I unfortunately learned how to unclog a toilet in college. I mean, yeah, I would have to learn to do it. It was. It's not like glamorous work, but this is the thing you have to get used to doing it. If you're going to shit in a pot, and if it gets clogged, it's your poop, man. And I hadn't, um, I'd never cleaned a toilet till I went to college. Like scrubbing an actual toilet. Oh shit, bowl. that's a separate uh, skill altogether. I should oh, just scrub it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I can unclog a toilet, but I can't do anything else in a home improvement. I can change a bulb, but that's it. Oh, yeah, even I can change a bulb. But you should. I think all. Um, If you you should have a safety like a toolkit, right? Yeah, there should be a toolbox. Like, at home. and for all the young women who live by themselves, you should keep a toolkit for yourself. Yeah. Also, in case a tool comes home and you want to hit him with the toolkit, life kills. <laughs> 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 But yeah, the next one is this: how to clog a toilet or a sink? Not I know how, how to, to clog. How to clog? <laughs> you know how to clog. <laughs> You know what is the worst? I should. I just want to talk about this on national airtime. <laughs> national airtime. It's international. <laughs> Whatever. We have people. Cosmic airtime. Time. Yes. You know, maybe people in Mars are listening. Who knows? People in Australia are listening. I know that. And Germany. That's Brill. Yeah. Guten Tag. And, And howdy, mate. <laughs> Shrimps on the Barbie. So you know, when you want to um, wash the bartan at night or whatever, you uh-huh. know. You have to clean the whole sink after you're done washing the bartan. Right. But I've seen that not a lot of people like clean their plates when they deposit the plates for washing. Right. So there'll be like that stray curry patta or the stray rice or you know this lavang here and there. You find it at the bottom of the sink after you're done cleaning. I know where I'm going with this. It's so gross. <laughs> That's my least favorite job. <laughs> when I have to take my hand and pick up all that kachru. And put it in the dustbin before cleaning the sink at night. Oh my god! <laughs> you know when we did have stuff, that that had to be done. And it was we used to fight as to who did the dishes that because that meant you have to do. But I came up with the ingenious thing: you take a spoon, yeah, and not the front of the spoon. You take the back end of a spoon and you scrape it, and then you just flip it out. And then to pick it up is not so bad. It's when you have to reach into sink. <laughs> yeah, like. <laughs> To check at the thought of this line, because we both so know too well. I've It's done it so too gross. much. So like gross. every time I go to Navsari, I'm on watching duty at yeah, night. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, and then Natasha is very sly. <laughs> One off day where she's decided that I'll wash the dishes today, she has not done the cleaning. She's like, I did the washing, you do the cleaning. Oh, I'm like, no, I'd rather wash. Exactly, it's all part of the same deal. If you're washing, you I, have to clean. I also think you have to finish. Like you exactly. can't just thing and then bounce. She just finished the dishes and then walked off. Confidently, I was like, "Nah, you're not sister of mine like this." <laughs> Next, uh, how to use kitchen appliances? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Deep fine. cleaning of fridge. It's part of the list. That's fine. okay. I've never done it. So, hey, but here's a hack. What? You should keep a box, an open box of baking soda in your fridge For year smell? round. It absorbs all the bad odors and kind of creates a clean. Um, 
clean air circulation and clean it doesn't smell or stink up your fridge fab i love that i you will should start do it. doing that yeah I, a box of baking yeah. soda i've seen my mom deep clean my fridge big time she gets really involved but what is deep cleaning you take everything you out take everything clean out. it ha huh, okay my do- i mean i've never done it yeah i've right. seen it happen yeah now we come to some technical skills oh no how to use a calendar and schedule yeah the ability to lo- use a clock and a calendar Yeah, yeah I mean, we can. Basic. But I'm very bad at management still. No, but it's easy. That's yeah. the point of the calendar, no? How to write? Means literacy or yes. like writing proficiently? Yes. I, I, I'm I think not we're saying everyone needs to write a blog, but blah blah blah. Basic understanding of sentence structure. Yes, of course. We're okay, educated. fine. Tick, tick, tick. Next. We can move on from this. Public speaking. It's a life skill. That's true. A lot of people struggle with this. Yeah. And I didn't know about that till um studying in America I realized that people have classes on this like yeah. speech and debate yeah. and public speaking and actually um speech is like they they actually learn and they memorize and they write speeches and yeah. they learn how to do it and I think it's a good skill because if it's taught at a young age you kind of get over that nervousness and it instills confidence in children also then it's more likely they'll grow up to be confident adults yeah i had i don't have a problem with this perhaps it is a problem of my own that i need to not speak so much <laughs> <laughs> moving on to effective communication we have a podcast i think we communicate effectively yeah so you guys <laughs> check in with yourselves do you know how to effectively yeah. communicate don't turn it on me, me. Next is technology 101. Oh. What is it though? It doesn't really explain. At minimum you should be able to email and use the internet for basic searches. Yes, okay. Okay, where is this list from? I th- I see these are basic life skills. Oh. Not basic life skills for educated privileged people. These are basic life skills across the board. Okay, well, yes, I think using a computer, knowing how to turn on and off and like kind of these basic you're right because yeah. this is a 21st century and we're heading towards a very automated world. Absolutely. These are things that you should know. Yeah. Um, and they should be taught to everyone. Hey, and if your parents or grandparents ask you to help them no matter how frustrating it is and how many times you have to repeat the same thing. Yeah. Do it. They taught you how to wipe your ass. That's true. Next is how to back up files. Um I sometimes I struggle. F- I forget to do this Same. and then I only panic when something has gone wrong. Yeah. And I'm like, no. "Oh, I should have backed it up." Absolutely. So this is I think comes to that thing of responsibility taking care of your tech and um, we forget because we like rely on tech so much we're like, "Yeah, it's okay, it'll handle itself," but we need to I think actively be on it also. My cousin does a really good thing which I think I should do but <coughs> I don't and I probably won't either, but you guys should learn. He sets an alarm for a couple times a year. Nice. To, to do a backup to back up yeah beautiful and so you just automatically remember that hey i got to do the backup so every i think like 2 months or something he does it which is i guess doesn't take that long if you just sit on a sunday for an hour and plug your things in and let it happen from my um, astrological knowledge point of view oh, no. i would just like to add that on that note of doing it a couple of times a year mercury retrograde is a good time to do this because mercury retrograde is a known time for tech mess ups and uh, loss of data and delays and this and that but i don't know when mercury retrograde right, it's on right now it happens thrice a year so i think you know you look it up look it up if you're interested you bad can... things are going to happen now nahi babu achhi chal rahi hai cheeze Oh, I thought Mercury was like a bad thing. That's it's what the memes say. Yeah, it's it can make things go awry, but it's also a great time to reflect and go inward and actually check in with yourself. How have you done in the last quarter of the year? That's how I use it now. Oh, okay, that's very cool. It's a great time for reflecting, meeting old friends, and going on holidays. Um, I'm doing the meditation challenge, so I think that should be good in terms of reflecting. Brill, slice five. and dice. Um next is how to protect passwords that's weird i don't know how to I all my passwords if you know two of my passwords you know all of my passwords that is just you've done the opposite of protect them right now <laughs> please don't hack me next is how to research using something other than google and wikipedia oh but i guess that comes from if you've studied or like if you did a lot like uh, sorry it's a poor sentence but from an academic point of view we learned it just by using the resources that in the library in the library got yeah. it same but like off off uh, off campus like now in real life the only way i know how to research is from a google search but honestly i i this point i will say it's very hard to research um without using google as a first step because if you're not in university anymore a we don't have access to 
so much stuff because it's all past. I mean, it's under lock and key, and you know, yeah. all that stuff. Um, okay, so that's the first fifteen life skills. Should we take a break yeah. and then come back for the next? Mm. All right. Um, See you on the other side. Yeah. Good luck. Uh, Amit has lots of shows for you too. Yeah. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome to another amazing week on the IVM Podcast Network. If you're not following us on social media, please do. We're IVM Podcast on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. We'd like to thank our sponsors this week, Paytm Money and HDFC Life. Remember, sponsors make these shows possible. Do show them your appreciation. And if you own a brand or work for a brand or are associated with a brand and think that that brand would benefit from working with IVM, do reach out to us. You can find contact information on our website. Also, just a very quick note, I would really appreciate it if you guys could fill out a really short survey on our website. It's on ivmpodcast.com slash survey. It's just a brand recognition survey for us to kind of work with the advertisers and give them some data. So it's a very short, less than one minute survey. Really appreciate your help in filling it out. So people, we have a new show releasing this week. It's called Begin the Journey. It's hosted by national award-winning film actor and motivational speaker Ashish Vidyarthi. He shares inspiring stories from various aspects of life. Stay tuned. First episode comes out on Monday, the 2nd of March. On Advertising is Dead, Varun does another AMA episode where he answers some questions sent in by listeners about advertising and content. He also gets some of his previous guests to give their takes on the questions. On Cyrus Says, Cyrus is joined by Lakshmi Krishnan, host of Lit Nama, to talk about her show and her love for literature. Also, check out Cock and Bull, which came out on Thursday last week. Cyrus is joined by Rohan Gudral, myself, and Silvery. We discuss Donald Trump's visit to India. We debate broccoli samosas and discuss the case of a crocodile in Mulund. Also, if you haven't been doing it, please do send AMA questions for Cyrus and Varun shows. Every episode of Cyrus has an AMA segment and Advertising is Dead is going to have one once a month. On IVM Likes, Ritika, Radhika and Antriksh are joined by the co-host of the Edges and Sledges cricket podcast, Dhananjay Chak. They talk about the T20 Women's World Cup and discuss movies which portray women in sports. On The Habit Coach, Ashton talks about the best way to work on your hands and exercise them. On Edges and Sledges, DJ Ashwin and Varun talk about India's great run at the T20 Women's World Cup and the New Zealand vs. India Test. On Ganatantra, Saryu and Alok are joined by Rahul Verma of the Center for Policy Research. They discuss how Indian voters vote along the lines of ideology and identity. On the Empowering series, Zarina is joined by Kushbu Benani. She is a content and marketing leader at Diageo India and they talk about storytelling with brands. On Lit Nama, Lakshmi is joined by the musician Ritwiz and his artist manager Rahul Sinha. They talk about coming of age music and their albums. And with that, let's get you back to your show. Welcome back. Welcome back. And we are here discussing life skills, life skills, and uh, let's go. Okay, number 16. Actually, I lied. <laughs> Those were 14. I misread the numbers. We are 15 now. <laughs> we should add math to the list. <laughs> <laughs> that was a low blow personal attack. I got 13 on 100 once in 11th standard. Dude, I have failed math. Now everyone knows. So, how to keep yourself safe? This is a tough one. Hai. For women's. For women's, to hai, matlab, but uh, I think, yeah, that too. And By the way, do you carry like mace or pepper spray or like a rape whistle or Nakko. stuff like that? No, I I feel like, sh- like, should we? I don't know. It's a good question. I think pepper spray to matlab ho sakta hai. But, but you know, I will say in a classic woman problem, just the... In my mind, I'm thinking, I can... Where will you ev- find it in your bag? Ev- never. Right? I put my hand in my bag yeah. and so just like junk comes out. So I've seen in Delhi, a friend of mine, you know how people hang the hand sanitizer off their bag? They hang she the pepper spray. Hanged, hanged, hung. <laughs> <laughs> hanged? <laughs> she hanged the pepper spray on her bag. Like there's more chances of the constitution coming out of my bag than the pepper spray. <laughs> Like, I have no idea what's going on in true, there. True, true, true. Uh, the, then, well, it's a good thing. Maybe we have to all find ways to keep ourselves uh, safe and find out. I do walk with the key between my knuckles or Fab. in a parking lot. Fab. I didn't know these tricks. I read it in a, one of these online things. You'll just punch the person then. No, because I, you know why, uh, where I picked this up was, um, uh, you know, PVR, huh. like Phoenix Mills. Huh. The parking lot on yeah. the back side, sometimes it's truly like yeah, Sunsan yeah. and it's yeah, alone yeah. and you're coming back from a movie. Like 99% of the time you have someone with you. But yeah. in that chance that the person has parked somewhere else and you have to go to a separate floor, yeah. you're walking alone. Yeah. Look, I'm not saying that there's bad people, there is security and all of that. But I just put that... <laughs> you guys have to see the uh, ishara she is doing right now. She's put her thumb in the <laughs> middle of her index and middle finger <laughs> and this is Ayushi's trick I love it I, I even do it when uh, we go to Riya's house and we park <laughs> in the back <laughs> what I do to keep myself safe while walking is I hold my bag over my uh, chest and uh, 
वॉक फास्ट लाइक ऑन अ ट्रेन स्टेशन प्लेटफॉर्म और लोकल ट्रेन में लाइक ऑलवेज एट द रेडी यू हैव टू बी रेडी टू अटैक आई थिंक ऑल वुमेन ऑल्सो पिटेन टू डू दिटेन फोन वी डू दिटेन फोन कॉल टू बी ऑन या Yeah, like that's true. so, my God, and to also to save yourself from like theft and all, maybe if you're on a, a on a pri- public uh, transport, keep music on your headphones. So if anyone nabs your phone, you'll know. You know, I've heard this trick people use. Oh, okay. Yeah, people who regularly travel by train and have like people but steal are, phones on trains. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been afraid of chain snatchers. I don't know why, but Bro, I wear a lot, so I get really stressed out about that. Not that I know how they would do it. Yeah, I'm just scared that what if they like slice open an artery or something? That's my main worry. Also, t- gold is now forty one thousand rupees for ten kilos, a uh, ten kg, a ten <laughs> grams. What am I saying? Ten grams. Aishi, I'm so glad that yours are all fake. You know, because you don't want to be wearing real gold and walking around for chain snatchers. Right. Right. Yes. It's safer to wear fake jewelries every day. That's true. Yeah, for daily wear. Yes, I would say if you're walking <laughs> on the streets and all that, then emergency preparedness is that the correct pronunciation? I, preparedness. 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 <laughs> Are you preparad? No, I'm not. Yeah, if there was a. F- Like it was an emergency, and they said, "Apko ghar wicket karna hai, pick up. It'll take me very long to put together an emergency <laughs> kit." I have to admit. But you know, I uh, we don't have emergency kits. Other people do. Like um, in California, they say they because they they're so prone to like fires and yeah. earthquakes. You have to have an emergency kit so you can just like run out of the yeah. house. Like back during the World Wars, everyone had like bomb shelters right. and like those uh, survival kits with canned foods and all of that. We don't have this, sadly. No. But maybe it's something we can think about. But where is this? <laughs> I just don't have the bandwidth yeah. to now <laughs> prepare for an emergency. It's the meme like, if there's a disaster, like just let them take me because I'm really <laughs> tired. <laughs> Aliens. If take the zombies me. are coming, it's fine. I'm going with I'm them. I'm with you. <laughs> <laughs> Next is basic first aid. Do you know the signs of a heart attack, a stroke, or a concussion? If someone has a deep cut or a broken bone, do you know what to do? Um, I know CPR. Fab. Even I learned CPR. And concussion. I guess you have to check their pupils, and you have to make them sit up and down, or something like that. We'll do some research on this, but I think basic first aid is important. Yeah, maybe you should look up. Um, If there's bleeding, firstly, always raise it above heart level. Hmm. And um, if you don't have anything to stop the flow of blood, I think. Um, haldi. Haldi is great. Haldi is great. You can just pour, pour like a haldi, whole literally. bunch on it, and uh, you can pack a wound with it. Yeah, that's great. Okay, cool. We know some also, Ayurvedic. Also, also to be honest, if you're in any situation, call a first aid or like a emergency responder because you like that should be your first reaction is to call a professional. Absolutely. Because in terms of like broken bones and like spine and all those things, like it, any movement sometimes could make things worse. Right. Um, and I'm not saying like don't help, but yeah. your first thing should be to call. Uh, Hundred, yeah. Professional help. Got it. Next is how to survive without electricity. Ha ha ha. Oh, means candle. Candle, yes, that's <laughs> fine. I should, but dodge. say you have a very important meeting, you got to send an email. Now I feel like everything is so dependent on electricity. But I mean, four G would like. I mean, your mobile network doesn't go down. Your Wi Fi will, right? You know, you're right. No, we in Bombay. But now Vodafone we, network is terrible everywhere in my house. Might as well be out. Yeah, really. Um, but we've had power outages in Bombay. Yeah. Like growing up, there they used they used to happen. That's true. You waited. You waited out. What and else? that's actually kind of nice. You know, when the lights go out and suddenly everyone's like, "Okay, chal, let's put on a candle," and everyone is like together. It's a community bonding thing, actually. When the light goes. Yeah, and your whole family sitting together, and um, hopefully it doesn't happen during the summer. That's it. Yeah. Then everyone's <laughs> just going to be killing each other. <laughs> the heat. How to read a map with GPS available? I map reading is rapidly becoming an obsolete skill. That's true, but you can read a map. Yeah, road a, trips. A physical map. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fab. I can't. I mean, I haven't tried. I mean, I could if it's I. It's not complicated. The only trick that I will say is with a map. No matter how convenient it seems to turn the map around don't to get it to face the direction you're in, don't do that. Yeah. Because that will throw you off completely. You 100%. should follow the map the way that the map is, like even on Google Maps and all. Love it. Next is car repair one o one. Lol, let me learn to drive first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come on, listeners. Driving I want is a you basic to life skill which I do not have. Inundate her DMs by just saying like, "Better learn how to drive." Yeah, मतलब है अब बहुत हो गया. Time's up, Ritz. Seriously, yeah. because 
truly in an emergency what if it is required for you to get into a vehicle and get to another location no in an emergency i can drive i mean i know how to drive i'm just so scared of what mumbai <laughs> <laughs> auto rickshaws yeah metro construction all valid my fears are real i know but there's like so many people doing it true i'll learn so but then car repair i can fix i think i can fix a flat tire if i had to no option i had to i could means you know in theory or you you in theory i could google be able it. to no meko pata hai kya karna hai na step nahi nikalo put that thing do do this that i've seen people do it hold on hold on have you seen people do it have you seen people in movies do it no we've done it in real life no cuz we've had a flat tire on the highway for example okay, on a okay, road trip okay. so like we've had to do or we have to take the car to the side and call somebody to do it i only know how to refill like the water in your car and the wiper windshield fluid and oh oh i know i know how to jump start a car fab i do know fab how, how? well you need the jumper cables okay. and you need another car wow and then you have to basically you have there's like there's a left the This positive is your and the negative second igtv video <laughs> You know why, right? Sarah's car died at uni, and we needed to jump start jump start it twice. So I googled it, and um, a we googled it, and then we realized she was like, "Well, why don't you google it for the actual car? Because when you open um, mm. the bonnet, like the inside looks different for different cars." So right. we were like, um, "The battery, yeah, but the battery is not facing the same way." Mm. So then we had one of our friends come with his car. And then it was an entire afternoon. I wish I'd recorded it, man. That would have been, you know, content. But Fab. that time we were just living. You know, it wasn't honestly, for content. imagine in college, Ayushi, if we had done everything for content, our IGs would be different by now. We would all have a million followers each. I feel. Dude, Daniel Wellington would have sent me so many watches by now. Daniel Wellington, wake the <laughs> f- up, bro. <laughs> Oh, so we don't. We kind of, kind of know, but kind of can learn. It could be better, but also, luckily, I think we live in a country like India where it is not that hard to get help. Um, even if you're on the highway Hashtag somewhere. Hashtag Jugard. Jugard, bus. Jai Mata Di. We are running on Jugard. But I, uh, I think as women, we should know because sometimes I think reaching out for help adds this whole new level of fear. Sometimes, mm. like you said, this highway situation. Hmm. That could be. Um, that bit could terrifying. be a bit worrying. I think. Uh, so I think definitely at least know where all the tools are in your car, you know. Yeah, they are in the back. I'm going to have to mat. go and check. I know where the stepney is. Is that the right word? Firstly, yeah, I think it is because I've only heard this since childhood. Stepney, stepney, stepney. Yeah, it is. I it used is. to think it was Stephanie when I was small, and people are mispronouncing it. No, it's definitely a stepney. I think. Okay. I think <laughs> next, how definitely. to write a resume, lol, and oh. cover letter. This is a hard life skill. I learned and this in college. Actually, we had a module called Professional World, and they taught us. Yeah, you said that's how you and Mez made that um, five-year plan. Five-year plan. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this is definitely something that people should know, and I would say the best way to learn is find someone who has been through the hiring process or through like who's just a bit older than you to look over your stuff and give you some tips. Yep, and. Um, Yeah, because people say right, one page, everything should just be one exactly. page. You have to keep it brief and uh, succinct. And I know, and that is hard. It that is that is hard, and especially when you're just leaving college. Now you suddenly want to put everything on there because you're like, I want to make sure that the employer knows that bloody I those yeah, there. Yeah, but chill. You know, your college fest doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> it just doesn't. Just chill out a bit. Yeah, yeah. आपने इतना कुछ नहीं किया. House games does not. Count. Nobody cares. <laughs> Nobody cares. You are house captain. Oh. But don't I um definitely definitely reach out to somebody who's in the same profession or industry as the one that you're pursuing. Yeah. And ask them to look it over. And plenty of templates available online. Do. Check those out. Peruse, see what you like visually, aesthetic. All that is also important. Yeah, yeah, of course. So yeah, and it doesn't have to look identical to someone else's. It um, has to be representative of you. Just you know, have someone look over it. Yes, definitely. I see. The next section is money management skills. Maybe we don't need to go into that right because we've, because we've done a big episode. Or should we just nah. <laughs> Nah. I think if people really want to know our take on money, they should listen to our finance episode. They should. Um, but I'm just gonna just read out these headers so we know what's going on. You know, for our listeners, hmm. how to budget, how to avoid and get out of debt, how to make a major purchase, balancing your bank account, how to use coupons. Oh, this is what I need to learn. Actually, <laughs> love that shit. How to use coupons? How to organize financial records? Important. I don't do that, but important. Mm-hmm. Money management, investing. Yes. How to select a tax professional? Hmm? What does that mean? Somebody to help you with your taxes. Uh, uh, effective negotiation. Important. Important. That's key. 
it's hard to teach someone that. I think you have to just learn how to do it. Yeah. Kind of on the job. I know that some people say that... Um, no, you know what? I can't. There's so many different tactics. There's so many different management skills. Be like, oh, you should uh, go from power of st- position of strength or go in a bit like... I think what, what just is. the thing about it is that we shouldn't be shy or like awkward about negotiation. As baby adults, we can feel a bit like, uh, uh, but I don't, I'm not... Eh. Just be confident. And yeah, and... Uh, no, like you have to know your words to go into a negotiation. Yeah. That's definitely something yeah. like you should keep in mind. But there are so many YouTube videos and um, periodicals and, and books that can help you with this. And don't, I would say, don't mock it. Don't knock it till you've tried it. Yeah, but personally, I'm still like very afraid of negotiations. Like if I ever book a role in anything, then the, f- the first question is, what's your budget? And I'm like, what is your budget? <laughs> But that's a way of negotiation, no? Yeah. You're holding the cards close to you. Just. Yeah. So I need to understand which range they're thinking in. But so there are some people who are just far better at this kind of stuff than others. Agreed. Like Ash is really good at negotiation. Our friend Ashna is, wow, you should follow on Instagram, Ash Studio. Yeah. Next is to calculate a tip. She's a wedding planner, not a negotiator. No, <laughs> it's not say. a job. <laughs> Do you know how to calculate a tip? Yeah, no? It's like, what, 10%, 4%? What's the deal? Who knows? No, I think it's anywhere between 10 to 20% of the bill, which oh. is rather... I know. It's I think that's too like much. Cheap Cheapskates, but that's a lot. I think that's too much. I'm sorry. Though in India, at least now, service tax is service in, charge. Service charge is added to the bill, so always check that before yes. you um, either under tip or over tip. Because some places it's not added, then you should definitely tip. Hundred percent. Bringing us to our next section called self awareness skills. Oh, oh my no. personal favorite oh. section. Skill number 32, understanding your Why must you change your voice? Because I am a guru, ma. <laughs> guru. <laughs> what was the question? Uh, self-awareness skills. So, understanding your calling, purpose and mission. I don't know, man. It's a tough one. It's but tough I one. think it's a good thing for baby adults to at least be aware of. That you should, should. be introspecting. Yes, yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah. That's it. That's where I'm at. Yeah. And just because maybe you have a certain job or profession that you've picked it, it doesn't mean that that has to be the only one that you ever have. Yeah. And I think like the millennial trend is very much to try different things before you find something that you're truly passionate about. So feel free if you have the ability and the financial safety to be able to do it. Yeah. And even in the professional world module, we had to come up with our own personal mission statements. So maybe... As a life thing for you, it could be in any aspect of your life. It doesn't have to be work related. It would even be in my social life or in my personal relationships. This is going to be my personal mission for this year or for this month or whatever. So I think that's cool. Mission statements are great for yourself. <clears throat> Next, how to prioritize and what your priorities are. Make one pata. If y'all find out, let me know. Let us know. You know, we are struggling. <laughs> Uh, some days, I think some days you feel like you've really done well. And then there's some days where you just feel like gutter. Yeah. So I think like adulthood is just finding the right balance between those and letting it tip in one direction more than the other. Yeah. But the, here they've given an example of like in the ER, what happens? Because that's a great way to assess priority. Like, right, right, right. So right. Um, to be able to assess the situation, size it up and figure out what needs to be tackled first. It's that thing about as soon as you wake up, you have to eat the frog, no? The worst, so it's called eating the frog. When you get the biggest thing out of the way first thing in the morning, or whenever you decide to get oh, it out of the way. Is that, is, yeah, I didn't know it was called that. Swallow the frog or you eat the frog. Okay. Why is there a frog Ew. involved? I yeah, know. I know, slimy, slimy. Okay, but that's kind of how even I attack a meal that I don't like. I'll eat the thing that's gross first, yeah. and then I'll leave like I'll eat the, the exciting first. part. Yeah, for me to enjoy later. Do the big, bad, tough things first and get them under control so you can move forward. That's a great strategy. I need to wake up and exercise. Will I follow it? No. <laughs> nope. Nope. What's that? Meko nahi aata. Next, understanding your values. Interesting. Understanding your values or your worth? I'm confused by that. I think what they mean here is... Um, your value system? Like your morality? Yes, yeah. It'll give you guidance for any tough decision you're in. Like, so if you value honesty mm. as your own personal value... Or if you value success or whatever these things are, you need to figure out for yourself what your personal values are, your value system and your top five values. I think we did that. That's a good one. Identify it for yourself. I think baby adults should do that. So we did this again in college. We were asked to do this. That's really good. Yeah, go for it. I don't remember all, but I'll tell you the ones I remember. Love, humor, spirituality, honesty and one more. 
It would have been hard for us to be friends in college. Why? I was fab. I know, but like I I do feel like maybe being friends with theater people at, at when you were going through that phase of this discovering yourself this hard, I would have been like I think we need That's a break. That's true actually because a lot of college kids were just like uh, reading, studying and partying and this theater kids we were like very much into this feeling sphere of Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I was into feeling but other kinds. Ah. Do you want to continue read the rest of sure. them? Sure, how to focus. Mere ko nahi aata. This is the <laughs> daily struggle. How? <laughs> I'll tell you no. Uh, you have to tap on the object in the foreground. It'll come into focus and the background blurs, Aishi. That's how you focus. Oh, I have to turn my phone. I like <laughs> I have to put my phone away to focus. It's it's that easy. Fab. But one second. Who who this is a lie. I put the phone away, but I also pick it up again. Yes. Instagram is my downfall. And web WhatsApp doesn't help. Because <laughs> in one tab, it's open. The problem is so much of my work is, is that I get... related. Yeah, I get a lot of information on WhatsApp. So I have to keep it open yeah. because I can't keep picking up my phone. So I put the phone away. So I'm like, oh, the only distraction is WhatsApp. Yeah. But then Twitter, man. Twitter is a f***ing black hole. <laughs> And like since everything in this country is on fire, it's like every day is a new thing. Yeah. And then I go down that rabbit. I'm not focused. I need to focus. We need to focus. And actually my dad keeps stressing on this. He's like, yeah. you just need focus, focus. in life. Yeah, Nothing yeah, yeah, else. Yeah. Focus and discipline. And everything which comes will, out of focus. Yeah. Will fall into place. Yeah. How to have a sense of humor. <laughs> Who are you telling? You are preaching to the choir. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to be born with it. Aishi, honestly though, I would like to take this national, international cosmic airtime to tell you, I'm so happy that you are f***ing funny and I'm f***ing funny and we're f***ing best friends. This is going to be beeped. F*** that shit. <laughs> I'm f***ing hilarious and so are you. I love it. I am. I, I enjoy my own sense of humor Same, so I can much. make myself laugh, yeah. which is fab. What do you want? You know, I wish I um I had the guts to tweet all the things I think. Oh man, you can send them to me privately. I or, do. Okay. I send you my like dumb thoughts. Nice. All right, basic etiquette. Yeah, I went to... Yes, a, I'm very etiquette. Yeah. I want to... I, my mom sent us to a class one day. It was a four or five day workshop to learn some basic etiquette. Oh, I don't remember any of that though. I didn't learn any of that. But, um, you know, if you're sitting at a fancy dining table, remember, start from the outside, outside. And move inwards. And apparently when you're eating soup, you can't say you're drinking soup. Firstly, you eat soup, which always trips me up. But uh, at the end of the soup, you know how when the soup is down to the last level, mm. you need to tilt the bowl in some direction, not yeah. to make sure it's, so you can scoop it up. So apparently you shouldn't tilt it towards you. You, you always to tilt, tilt it away. away. Yeah. I didn't knew this. I learned it then. That's because I pick up the thing and just put Street. it in my mouth. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Though we've switched now to having soup out of mugs. Best. Which is the easiest. But when you go out, I'm saying. Yeah. Also never go down to your food. You bring your food up halfway. Up, yeah. You, like you bring the food to you. You don't go to your food. But, but these are all those like British yeah. norms and all. Like you, you don't do have you, to man. follow this man. Just, yeah. you know, be Be polite. Be respectful and don't and just be clean. <laughs> yeah. Um, basic civics. Lol. Now I you all know how triggered. I feel about this. Triggered. <laughs> I could do every episode on this. Triggered. This morning I had such a bad experience and I reprimanded myself the entire way, length of the ceiling, being like, "Why did you get so annoyed?" But obviously, I didn't do any. Literally, a biker just came in the mid. Like, we made a tea. I was the, the long dundee. He was the flat dundee. What a guy. In the middle of the road. And I said, I literally looked at him and I mouthed out. I was like, what the f-? And he was looking at me and he had the f***ing guts to be like, what the f*** to you? No way. <laughs> I was so taken aback by his gall and his cheek. Who are these people? I'm tired of these bikers near the ceiling. They're near terrible. Near Love Grove. I know. I'm oh, talking about near Love near, Grove going okay. into that uh, Mela little... Gali. Yeah. Got it. You know, for non-Mumbai listeners, come. We'll show you a great time around the gullies of Mumbai. Please learn how to vote. Remember and actually remember to register to vote for your municipal elections, your state elections and the national election. It's very important because... I mean, I don't know how many other ways to say it. We get the government that we choose. Every vote counts. So I it just does. said vote, yuck. Every vote counts. Okay, the next one is relationship skills. I don't think I should talk on this. You can read them, I'll respond. Or you want me to read them? No, I can ask you because I'm not good at I this. I see you in a relationship with me. Yeah, but that's not true, is it? 
gutted. <laughs> Gutted. Uh, you're gutted. I'm talking about the fact that we spend this time and then you go home to someone else. So if anything, I'm just like the other woman. No, no, no. You are my main dish. He's a side dish. Aishi. He's a side of bacon. You are my main. Listening and communication and a partnership. I think we've covered all of this in our relationship. That's episode. damn important. But that's a basic life skill. I think that extends out yeah, of yeah, relationships. Yeah. And this is not only for romantic relationships. Friendships. Friendships. Family. family ships. Everything's. All, all ships. ships. Battleships, love ships. <laughs> That's one of our first Adela jokes. Fab. Valuing and, and expressing respect always. Very important. You can hear the respect with which Ayushi and I express our respect and love for each other. That's true. We don't always agree. Um, but we try to be respectful that the other person comes from their own story and their own background. There's so many times she sends me a message and I'm like, I. Grr. Grr. But whatever. Yeah. Valuing and expressing love. I this think one, we have that. Down. Aishi, yeah, but I have to say, um, just on behalf of everyone who listens or like young people at large, expressing love is not easy for many people. Aishi has put her hand up. So I think this is a barrier and a kind of resistance that we all have within us. And um, it could have to do with whatever childhood reason or adult reason you have had this issue with. I think expressing love and receiving and giving love is like key. Because like in Harry Potter, love really makes, it is a magic. It is a magic spell. I agree with you. And it's definitely something that I've worked on over the last couple of months, yes. last year. And I think I've really so. improved. You have done well. I'm getting better at sharing my love for the people that I do love. Because I used to think that we use the word love too loosely and flippantly. Like we just say we love anything and anyone. Where, right. Whereas love is such a powerful word. Yes. Because love actually to me means like accepting someone entirely for who they are. Yeah. Right? Like their flaws and all. Now there's so many people that we say that we love, but I don't actually accept them for all their flaws. I, I'm triggered by their flaws. I am also, but I mean, like... So many flaws even in my sister, but I love her. That's true. My brother annoys me, but I exactly. love him. Exactly, no, so yeah. that's the thing. And no, I'm not talking about that. I'm, family love is very different. I think that word is like, it's family, you have to love them. <laughs> <laughs> Case in point, my argument that I had with my dad today. Um, how to accept compliments and criticism. I don't need, I don't just, I don't want you only to respond to this. Aishi, it's important. We don't know how to take compliments. You take too many. Me is fine. I'm talking about in general. I'm talking about at large. Do people, Me. Aishi, you look beautiful today. She's squinting okay. at me. She should just say, thank you, Dash. Thank you, Dash. Yeah, even I don't know how to take compliments, by the way. Unless they're behind a screen and I just have to read them and giggle to myself in my room, then that's fab. But if I'm actually in a space where I real people are like, I love your work or you're so great or whatever, I'm like, <laughs> thanks, yeah, actually, it's not kuch khas nahi hai and all. I always underplay my own whatevers. Why do we do that? Be- that's something to think about. Self-worth, this, that, you know, we gotta, yeah. Examine it. Young baby adults, learn how to take criticism. As well as uh, compliment. Compliments. And don't let either of them weigh on you. That's another thing also. Both should be received. Very true. With the same amount of, okay, okay, cool, thank you. Take whatever you can from it and move on. And dispel the rest. Yes. Um, emotional intelligence. I think, you know, I, I do want to say young men out there who are listening. Uh, this is just, there's a lot of men who lack EQ. Agreed. And I'm not saying that women don't, but predominantly we I have think a good women handle are on it. Slightly more emotionally intelligent. More, slightly Intuit- more. Yeah. yeah, intuition is a big thing that women have. Yeah, just I think even from like a biological, yeah. uh, like genetics, whatever yeah. you call it, it's yeah. there. Um, men, nothing is more attractive to a woman in a man than having a good emotional intelligence or like. Having a high EQ quotient. I love my cock! JK. <laughs> I just had to ruin your nice line with a joke. Size yeah, does not matter. Yeah, I don't have But um, I will say, emotional intelligence, work on it. Like, try to... Um, things don't always have to be spelled out yeah. for you to uh, know Get that it. it's happening. Yeah. Like, come on. And I do think that this comes a lot from reading. Like when you read, yeah. when, you're, when you've grown up reading books and novels and whether it's fiction or non-fiction, you understand the human nature and human relationships much better, which makes for a way stable, way more stable young adult. It's also that how it comes when you're like slightly more sensitive and in tune and attuned to other people's 
feelings, thoughts, emotions. Empathy also comes in in this, I think. Yeah. Basic, I think empathy and all that is a basic life skill which we should focus on cultivating. And as you grow older, remember that empathy is actually far more powerful than sympathy. Absolutely. And no one is looking for pity. People are just yeah. looking for you to be, to relate. I get it. And find a way yeah. to relate. So even if, I think I recently learned that when I couldn't understand why a friend of mine was going through what they were going through and I was just like, this is just not a problem. Yeah. And then after she told me, she was like, but you have to see this from my side. I tried to find a problem that was similar and I was like, oh, that would suck. Yeah. That would totally suck. Yeah. And that, in that moment, it's empathy that the person is looking for, not sympathy. Nobody wants you to be like, oh, poor thing, so sad. No. Yeah. No. And as adults, you're not looking for no. that. You're looking for more. Have a conversation with me. Try and just yeah. understand me. And if you can give advice, give. If you don't, like, I, more often than not, you just need somebody to listen to you. I swear. And you yeah. can solve the problem yourself. yourself. Because empathy, I think, is solution oriented. Whereas sympathy is just kind of lets you... Waddle, wallow, wallow in the same place waddle I've said <laughs> <laughs> wrong so, word empathy over sympathy I think be high on the EQ note how did I thank you messages that's bullshit but I guess it's a but I mean send skill. them just there's, say thank you yeah there's no harm and I know people say like oh my god that's so keen for you to say no it's not everyone likes to be appreciated for something that they've done so yeah. always send a thank you message I love that actually you know and um uh, shout out to my friend Ria who's actually one of the nicest ones when it oh comes to God. these little etiquette yes. things she's so kind even um, yeah she's lovely we'll have her on the show you guys will enjoy her yes is she any others we have left out um, it's all your favorite ones man the next three are on mental health boom let's go critical thing in problem solving though I don't think anyone can teach you this you have to like cultivate, cultivate it. it yourself through a lot of reading research introspection all of these things and there's a lot of like those brain training ones that you can do as Fab. well lumosity yeah lumosity is a good game they're fun yeah um, synthesizing I think that's basically critical thinking why have they written it as a separate point Aishi? okay a critical thinking skill synthesizing is the ability to combine oh it combines part of a whole in a new and unique way I've given an example. <laughs> you know, I don't know. I'm just going to go with photosynthesis. <laughs> you know, it takes a whole bunch of stuff and, and then it makes oxygen. Nice. So I guess what they're talking about is the ability to look at many different issues and extract the best possible result from it and to either come up with something new or to solve an entirely separate problem using different traits that you've learned. But so in that way, they're right. I think young adults should have lateral thinking is what it should be called, yeah. actually. Yeah, yeah. And we sometimes lack that. Absolutely. It's something I need like to actively even myself, work on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Being able to think of five different problems at the same time. Yeah. And that's something my parents tell me all the time. They're like, oh, you're not, you're still thinking, you know, one thing at a time. One direction. Whereas yeah. to be an adult, you need to be able to handle 10 juggling plates kind of a thing. Tough life, eh? <laughs> Ugh, just want to be babby. <laughs> Um, self-discipline exercise and nutrition we all know it in theory it's the practice that's hard for me personally like I've been I know same yeah, anyway. it's been bad it's been a it's been really bad, bad um, yeah. start in terms of our physical health Commitment but we too, yeah. are going to fix that because otherwise we have no right to tell people you know yeah absolutely um, and I think the last one is just self-care sleep and hygiene you know how I feel hygiene. about hygiene shower shower if shower. you are clean on the outside you will feel clean on the inside <laughs> I think yeah I think so two showers a day and when you eat methi just be extra careful and just be aware that it is going to stank you up the next day so put the appropriate and that's not deodorant. nice because we have to work with you yeah and th I'm not saying stop eating methi it's a great detox for your blood eat it but, but just that's the raw one no, nah, soaked methi in the morning is what you have to do for them. But even the leaves are good for you. That, why do you think it stinks? Because it's coming out of your sweat. The toxins are coming out. And the bloody methi is coming. That's what. Anyway. Okay, and sleep. <laughs> Ritashato loves Sleeping to sleep. Sleeping is my favorite activity. <laughs> I had a nap before coming here also. You what? I was not well. I usually have been sick for three weeks, as we all know. How long is this nap going to continue? <clears throat> I napped for one hour only. 4.20 to 5.20. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so mad at you <laughs> <sighs> Alright well I know we sped through the last one is because as usual we took too long in the beginning But we enjoyed uh, Yeah I hope you guys enjoyed as well um, We didn't mean to be too preachy Obviously we ourselves struggle with a lot of these No no this is not us saying we know this and you do this <laughs> We are all effed up together 
And um, there are some that we do have a handle on. And so on those ones, if you'd like to reach out and talk to us about it, absolutely you must and you should. And if there's anything that you do that makes you more functional and a skilled baby adult, please yeah. let us know and we'll start featuring this stuff on the show. Yes. Because we'd like to get you guys involved. Yes. So thank you for tuning in to episode 28 of Agla Station Adulthood. We love you so much. Okay. And um, as always, if you would like to reach out to me, I'm Ayushi 9 on Instagram and at just Ayushi on Twitter. And I'm at Ritash on Instagram. If you liked this podcast, please remember to tune in to check out all the other podcasts on the IBM Podcast app or on the IBMPodcast.com website. And they're also on Twitter and Instagram at IBM Podcasts. Beautiful. So you can find our stuff there as well. You can, you know. Okay. Bye. Bye. Have a great weekend. Look, up in the internet, it's a meme. No, it's a cat video. No, it's the Geek Fruit Podcast. That's right. We interrupt this riveting broadcast to tell you about our show, the Geek Fruit Podcast, where Tejas, Dinkar, and I, Jishnu, talk about everything in pop culture, including DC, Marvel, Star Wars, Netflix, and everything in between. You know how your friends hate it when you ramble about some nerdy crap and you just want somebody to listen to you? Well, sorry, there's nothing we can do about that, but come listen to us ramble and it'll almost be like the real thing. Kind of. Listen to new episodes of the Geek Fruit Podcast every Monday and the Geek Fruit Bulletin every Thursday on iTunes, Google Podcasts, the IVM app, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Happy listening, you nerds. Hi, I'm Satyajit. Hi, I'm Racheta. We are from the Open Library Project and we host a podcast called Paperback. Paperback is a podcast where we engage with stalwarts and experts from various industries, suggesting non-fiction titles that contributed to their journey in a big way. We've had guests like Anjali Rana, Dr. Marcus Rani, Dr. Swati Loda, Ambi Parmeswaran, Apurva Damani and many more on our show Paperback. Find new episodes every Wednesday on IVM Podcast app, website or wherever you listen to podcasts.